This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Look at my eyes. They're watering because Watch Mojo has hurt my feelings again. <laughs> Actually, I just have some allergies, but really, we're gonna do another Watch Mojo guitar list. If you don't know Watch Mojo or my reactions to the Watch Mojo ranking lists, well, this is gonna be a great time for everybody involved. Watch Mojo isn't really a guitar YouTube channel or really a music, they're just like a pop culture media channel. But I do like reacting to their list because I think it's interesting to see what they put on the list. Maybe they represent a majority of the world, you know, non-guitar players, their perspective is valuable too, sometimes. What do you think the greatest guitar riff of all time is? What a question. You have uh, the duration of this video to leave your comment. Personally, I've made two YouTube videos, The Greatest Guitar Riffs of All Time Part 1 and Part 2. I'm gonna show you every riff that I include in those videos right now. Actually, let's just move that over here. So, you can refer to this list anytime I say, maybe this riff doesn't belong. And honestly, this list, it could be fluid. I could pick and choose some riffs to come off and other riffs to go on, but apparently at one point or the other, these are what I consider to be the best or the greatest, I'm gonna try and stick to that word, the greatest guitar riffs of all time. I think a great guitar riff means something that, one, is instantly recognizable, two, is musically interesting, so that's what you and I probably have more insight than the Watch Mojo folks or the layperson, for example. And those are really my two parameters. You can get into nuance further down the road, but I think those two are the things that I'm targeting as far as what I'm looking for in a great guitar riff, so let's get to it. According to Watch Mojo, the 20th greatest guitar riff of all time is... Number 20, Walk This Way, Aerosmith. Who doesn't crave a little Aerosmith to kickstart their day? Oh yeah, I always pour some coffee and turn on Aerosmith. What? Joe Perry's so awesome. Definitely, I think, an Aerosmith belongs in the greatest guitar riffs of all time list. We don't even have to limit it to the top 20. Walk This Way is a great one. The real shuffle here, let me grab my guitar. That's the riff they're putting on this list. I think actually the best riff of Walk This Way is this verse riff where it's a really tricky one to play. It has this unbelievable swing to it. So I think that's actually the greatest riff of the song, but yeah, probably the opening riff is way more iconic. So I, I approve this listing. Number 19, Round and Round, Rat. Don't sleep on hair metal riffs, especially when they're coming from musicians I don't know as this talented one. as Rat's Warren Martini or Robin Crosby. Rat is awesome. Hmm. I mean, Definitely immediately recognize that chorus, but let me see if I can just pick out the guitar. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly how it goes, but that is a pretty great riff, actually. You can never go wrong with that chord change, the one to the flat six. Maybe the most epic chord change in all of rock. But yeah, I don't know if a rat riff would make this list. Maybe, maybe I'm being disrespectful to rat. I mean, they were in that awesome commercial. Original crown molding, walk-in closet. We do have a rat problem. Up to you guys. Do you think this riff belongs? I'm torn. Number 18, no one knows. Queens of the Stone Age. Oh yeah, baby. I definitely think this is one of the greatest guitar riffs of all time. I covered this song. In case you missed that video, I'm kind of working on my vocals for an album that I'm currently in the process of making, and, well, no one knows Josh Homme's vocal register is kind of right in sync with mine, and I'm not comparing myself to him. I'm emulating him. I'm, I'm inspired by the way he sings, and the guitar part in this song actually helped me a lot with vocals. It's not like an incredibly difficult song to sing, but there's a lot of nuance to the vocals and obviously the guitar riff has to be right in the pocket. I put this on Instagram about this riff. Is this the greatest guitar fill of all time? Is there a better fill? No. 
There isn't. Number 17, Check My Brain, Alice in Chains. There had been a lot of mix. Don't know this one. I'm not a huge Alice in Ch I love Jerry Cantrell, but I'm just not up on my Alice in Chains discography. Uh, I would put them bones as like the greatest Alice in Chains riff, but let's hear them out. Thankfully, Black Gives Way to Blue had all the music elements their audience craved, along with new singer and rhythm guitarist William Duvall. I'm gonna say this one doesn't belong. I don't recognize anything I've heard yet, and I think that has to be a parameter, and if I don't recognize it, maybe the layperson won't either. And like I said, I just would put them bones. Mm. 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 Number 16, Eye of the Tiger, Survivor. You know it, you love it, you can sing every word by heart. Yes. All right, so which is the greatest guitar riff? Is it both of these? Because I don't think that counts. You can't have a riff that is created by two guitar parts. I don't think that's allowed. Like this riff, not very special, but then when you have... That's gonna, you know, kick things up a notch. Easily one of the greatest guitar moments of all time, but I am not awarding this greatest guitar riff of all time because it it takes two guitar parts to make it, so. Number 15, Beat It, Michael Jackson. I have this on my greatest guitar riffs of all time list as well. Number 14, Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. I, I didn't have it on my list, but I could see how it would be on this list, and I agree. Number 13, Paranoid, Black Sabbath. Here's yeah. a question. If Black Sabbath were the honest to goodness first heavy metal band, does that make Paranoid the very first crossover pop single for the genre? <laughs> no one has ever asked that question, Watch Mojo, but uh, I suppose you just made the argument that that is the truth. So here's a hot take Paranoid, it is probably the most recognizable. I honestly, I like War Pigs. Like every riff in War Pigs is the greatest riff of all time. Check out all these different riffs in this song. And we have that one, and then we have, and that's the whole verse, and then he starts adding in these little fills to compliment. I just played four great riffs that maybe transcend any riff ever written, and they're all in the same song. So that's why I would vote for War Pigs, but definitely having Black Sabbath on this list is crucial, so I'll accept Paranoid as well. Hold on, who can forget this riff? Let's, let's actually move on now. Number 12, Wasted Years, Iron Maiden. The next band on our list. Okay, I've had a lot of comments through the years on my channel. Why don't you ever feature Iron Maiden? Do you hate Iron Maiden? You never talk about Iron Maiden. You never, you never. That's just because I never listened to them growing up. They just are one of those bands that pass me by. I'm sure there's bands like that that are essential to me that you probably are like, oh yeah, I know of course, of their iconic status, but I just do not listen to them. Well, Iron Maiden's that band for me. Better known for their melodies and guitar harmonies than riffs, but Iron hmm, Maiden that's should true. never be excluded from the conversation. I feel like Watch Mojo's talking to me right there. <laughs> Gotta say, I just went through kind of listening to this, and 
none of the riffs totally stand out to me. As a non-Iron Maiden guy, turn me into an Iron Maiden guy, tell me the greatest Iron Maiden riff. I, I don't think it's this one. Maybe I'm wrong, but comment below, what's the best Iron Maiden guitar riff? Number 11, Ain't Talking About Love, Van Halen. It's I put that on my greatest guitar riffs list. And the cool thing about that riff, if you notice, he plays it, he misses a note, or he doesn't. We don't know. But the point is, he doesn't play the opening phrase the same way all four times, and I broke it down when I played Eddie's guitar. Pro 2 Ain't Talking About Love uses a phaser that kicks on a flanger just for a couple notes. <laughs> Number 10, Raining Blood, Slayer. Simply stated, Slayer is the sound of all hell breaking loose. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't put this on just because it didn't influence me in any way, but if I'm being honest and true to my parameters of is it instantly recognizable and is it musically inter interesting, yeah, it's it's gotta be on here. Raining Blood by Slayer. It's basically a meme at this point, but. That's a great guitar riff. It belongs. Number nine, Welcome to the Jungle, Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Okay, so we easily could have given this ninth spot to any number of classic GNR jams. That's what I've said about a couple of these already. Including Sweet Child of Mine. No, that's a lick. That's not a riff. Is that a riff or a lick? I think it's a lick, that opening doo 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 doo. We settled on what has to be one of the best album openers ever. Welcome to the Jungle. I gotta say, Watch Mojo is nailing this video. <laughs> this one's interesting, there's a lot of speculation around this riff, how is he actually playing it? This is my take on how I think Slash plays it, and I'm gonna add delay in post-production. I don't have any on right now. So there's two kind of ways he goes into it. You have to listen to it, and I think it's really worth its own deep dive, that intro. If you have to choose a Guns N' Roses riff, I definitely support that one, I would say. Paradise City is the one that I had on my list, but um, yeah. Welcome to the Jungle. Really about being chewed up and spit out by the world, you know? It's a dangerous world out there. Luckily, we have some support from our friends at NordVPN. They're sponsoring this video and they're offering you a wonderful holiday discount. Just go to nordvpn.com slash musiciswin to get a two year plan at a huge discount. Plus, a month free. And it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. And if you don't know what a VPN is, I really rely on them a lot to just protect my own internet traffic from advertisers. If I wanna watch a show that's not available in the United States, I can easily make it appear as if I'm in another part of the world, say the UK, where they'll actually show me the latest episodes of Better Call Saul and not the ones from last year like the American Netflix is doing right now. Look, NordVPN is the best in cybersecurity. They have their own next generation encryption of your internet traffic. And best of all, they have a strict no logs policy where they won't save any of your browsing history or any of your information whatsoever. It's none of their business, as they say. But you can really think about NordVPN like uh, strap locks for your guitar. I don't have strap locks on this guitar and it would be quite unfortunate if I had, say, a regular internet connection and a you know regular strap connection and something happened where something got twisted up and all of a sudden my guitar is falling Ugh, that was just a bad dream because i do have nord vpn and i do have strap locks for this guitar so right now you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus one additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash music is win thanks to nordvpn for sponsoring this video now back to the greatest guitar riffs of all time according to watch mojo who's doing a great job so far number eight money for nothing dire straits mark knopfler isn't really about the flash his playing style tends to be far more subtle I'm glad they didn't put Sultans of Swing. That would have been like an old Watch Mojo thing to do is put Sultans of Swing. Money for nothing, holy crap, what an intro. Yes, definitely one of the greatest guitar riffs of all time. 
And you know who does a great breakdown of this is my buddy Paul Davids, and just really getting the feel and the wah pedal in the right position, but really the feel. Um, I'll just play a little clip, of, Paul won't mind, I'll just play a little clip of him playing this riff, it's great. <laughs> Number seven, Crazy Train, Ozzy Osbourne. Remember how we mentioned earlier that Michael Jackson always surrounded himself with the best musicians? The same could also be said of the Oz man himself, Ozzy Osbourne. Dang, dude smacking that bass. It's sort of like the Aerosmith riff where, yeah, of course this is the riff that you're gonna think of. But my favorite part of this song is actually the verse galloping kind of like major triad thing. That's where the money is right there for me. Number six, Master of Puppets. Ma yes, move on. Number five, You Really Got Me, The Kinks. Although most mm. music historians point to the late mm. 70s as the point where punk rock began to explode into the public consciousness, mm. its origins can actually be traced back much further. All right. Uh, I'm fighting with myself here because to me, this riff is so boring. <laughs> it, it's amazing. But it's so boring, like the musical aspect is not fulfilled for me. Maybe this belongs on a greatest guitar riffs of all time list, but not the greatest guitar riffs of all time. That's how I feel, just off the cuff, I'm being honest. I know Van Halen covered this and it was more popular than the Kinks version. Dang, maybe it is one of the greatest. But it's just like fighting with me because if I'm sticking to my parameters, is it instantly recognizable? Yes. Is it musically fulfilling to like me as a musician? I guess you could say yes because it's so simple in the rhythm, like maybe it is perfectly crafted. Other side of me is like, I don't know if this is up there with Master of Puppets or presumably a Led Zeppelin. I don't, we haven't had any Led Zeppelin on this riff, but when you think you really got me, I don't think of the guitar riff. I think of, girl, you really got me now. Agree to disagree if you, uh, if you do think it belongs, I think I might put something else here. Number four, Layla, Derek and the Dominoes. Songwriting is a beautiful thing. Especially no, when it works. it's a lick. All right, we're getting into semantics here, but isn't this a lick? I just think most people probably think of the harmony. But when I play that riff, yeah, that is pretty. Get your blood going a little bit. I mean, wouldn't you put Crossroads, even though that's not Clapton's song, but like his version of it, no, nah, maybe not. If you're gonna go Clapton, you could do Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. I had that on my personal list, but I suppose if a riff from old Slow Hand is on the list, nobody can complain, let's move along. Number three, I can't get no satisfaction. The Rolling Stones. Had it on my list to watch Mojo. I haven't really talked about like the order of these, I don't know if this is in particular order. I'm gonna just assume it's not. Number two, Smoke on the Water, Deep Purple. Does Deep Purple have- Fine, fine. It's weird how a riff that has become such a meme becomes underappreciated. This video is obviously not monetized, so uh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that on my channel in years. Now, the number one greatest guitar riff of all time, even though I don't know if these are in any particular order. Without further ado, Watch Mojo says... Heartbreaker, Led Zeppelin. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Led Zeppelin have repeatedly faced accusations that they, well, let's say, were overly inspired by riff ideas. Oh! We little shade well, thrown at Led Zeppelin. It really matter when the end results are this good. Take your pick. It <laughs> could be whole lot of love. You need All right, so they're they're sidestepping a little. They could be like, well, it could be any Led Zeppelin riff. They said Heartbreaker. I had Heartbreaker as my personal choice as well, among a couple other Led Zeppelin riffs. But Heartbreaker is definitely one of the greatest guitar riffs of all time. I mean, listen. <laughs> Mm. 
Anyway, let's uh, close out our video by saying there's so many great guitar riffs. No one could possibly order them in the correct order and have the correct choices because none of us will ever agree. Leave a comment. What is the greatest guitar riff of all time? And thank you very much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and helping me dip back into the watch mojo well. Great work over there, guys. Seriously, this is like a step up from all the other videos I've done. Let's see what they come out with next in the uh, realm of guitar. And uh, until then, keep shredding.